The Bereave A-40, Albatros, is the largest jet-powered amphibious aircraft ever built. Developed in the Soviet Union at the Taganrog Aviation Plant in the 1970s, it was intended to replace the B-12 amphibian and the land-based IL-38 in anti-submarine warfare and search and rescue missions. Work began under chief designer Alexei Kirillovich Konstantinov, who insisted that the new amphibian must match the performance of land-based patrol aircraft. The A-40 was designed as a high-wing monoplane with a two-step hull and T-tail. Two D-30 KPV turbofan engines were mounted above the main landing gear fairings, reducing water spray ingestion. For additional thrust during takeoff, two RD-3635 boosters were fitted. The hull was divided into crew compartments, operator stations, a technical bay, and a weapons bay that could carry torpedoes, depth charges, mines, and sonoboys. Aerial refueling capability was included from the start. The aircraft could operate from seas with wave heights up to 2 meters, thanks to an innovative variable deadrise hull design tested extensively in SEI hydrodynamic facilities. The first prototype, V-1, was rolled out in September 1986. Its maiden flight occurred unexpectedly on the 8th of December 1986, when during high-speed taxi tests, the aircraft unintentionally took off and had to complete a full flight. Official tests continued in 1987, including water trials on the Azov Sea. Stability problems on takeoff from water were resolved by adding hydrodynamic deflectors under the hull. By the late 1980s, the A-40 demonstrated remarkable performance, setting 140 world records for amphibians and flying boats, including altitude and payload achievements. Two prototypes were built, V-1, tail number 10, and V-2, tail number 20, later renumbered 3378. The aircraft appeared internationally at the 1991 Paris Air Show, where it drew global attention, and later toured Singapore, New Zealand, and the United Kingdom. Western Air Forces, including Britain's Royal Air Force, briefly studied it as a possible Nimrod replacement. After the breakup of the USSR, the project faced financial collapse. Planned serial production at the Dimitrov plant in Taganrog never began. In the 1990s, the Russian Navy considered modified variants, including the A-40M and the A-42 search and rescue aircraft, equipped with updated sensors and weapons. Export versions were proposed for China, India, and Malaysia, with advanced sonar and Western engines. None reached production. In 2002, the prototype returned to flight, and in 2019, the Russian Navy announced plans to purchase three A-42s with Ukrainian D-27 prop fans, promising a range of 9,300 kilometers. However, the destruction of the Motor Sitch engine plant in 2022 made this impossible. As of 2023, no new aircraft have entered service. Despite this, the A-40 remains a unique achievement. It proved that a jet amphibian could rival land-based patrol planes in speed, range, and payload. Its direct descendant, the smaller Bereave B-200, achieved more success as a firefighting and transport amphibian. The A-40 Albatross, though produced only in prototypes, holds an enduring place in aviation history as the world's largest and most advanced jet-powered amphibious aircraft.